Hello Yu-Gi-Oh! players, how are you today? Today we are going to talk about or discuss decks who are living on the edge. And what I mean by that is you look at a deck or there's a deck you want to play that you wish was competitive or you say okay it is competitive but why ain't nobody using it? Or it is competitive but it's missing something. It could be competitive but there's something not right here. Or you look at a deck and say, it's good. Why isn't no one playing this deck? What is that reason? Okay, you got that point. A deck living on the edge is a deck that might be good, has a chance to be good, it could be good. And I'm going to use Gladiator the Beast as an example in this video. So, Gladiator the Beast have a problem. And that problem is being able to attack your opponent, which you will be able to do in this game. But it's getting over your opponent's monster. If your opponent goes first and they have a strong field, so let's say they have a 3,000 attack blue eyes. Yay, blue eyes. And you, you summon your monster. And you're like, I'm going to get over that blue eyes. I need to attack so I can tag out and start doing stuff in Lady the Beast. That thing is just too big. It's too big. And that has been my problem with Gladiator Beast. I might have my Wabaku and I set it. Or I have a Lance. Those things come up, but it's still my biggest problem when Glad with Glads. I'm running them and I'm like, okay, how am I gonna get over it? Sometimes I don't draw into a Wabaku. Sometimes I don't. I don't draw into a lance, which I use to protect my Gladiator to be. So if I summon, I gotta summon it, you bottomless compulse or something stupid, I gotta lance it and I still can't get over your monster. And I still gotta wait for that Wabaku. I guess that's what every deck goes through, huh? That moment when you just don't have the card you need. But Glads, is, and Glads as an example, is that I need to attack and I just can't get over your monster. But other than, other than that, I've been doing, doing really good with Glads. Summon, attack, remove, summon, attack, destroy. Got my Icarus attack. People say, hey, why do you use Icarus attack? That's stupid. No, it's not. Like, a lot of decks have so many options, so many builds. You try to figure out which one is the best. But you know what? To me, it's just, how am I going to get out of a situation? Those are the cards I'm going to use that will help me compete more. So you have a lot of decks out here living on the edge and they're missing something. And sometimes you need to test it out just a little bit more. And the reason why I've been testing out Glads is because we got Exitar Knight. We got 101. Glads, most of the Gladiator Beasts are level 4. Darius can get me back Gladiator Beasts from the graveyard. Overlay for Exitar. I can get over more monsters now. I have more outs, which makes it a little bit better. And I don't use Test Tiger because I say, oh, Test Tiger is just some minus. Yes, it gets me out of situations, but I got a special summon, blah, blah, blah. Do, what if they activate Max C? It's just an extra card they might get. Things I got to think about. So, a lot of decks could be competitive. And some people might say, it, it just ain't worth it. it. Just ain't worth it. Glads is a battle ready deck. And you got Onslaught. Onslaught. And I'm bringing up Onslaught. And I'm bringing up Tanky. And you got Bear to get Tanky, which can search out your Gladiator Beast. I'm bringing that as an example because these are new cards that have come out that can make your deck better. And a lot of times, if there's a deck living on the edge, you might have to wait for a couple of sets. See what's, what comes out. Test out the new cards in the deck. And maybe that will make it a little bit better. Onslaught, which gets me the quarry from the deck. And if I summon Elemental Hero Prisma, I can contact into Gazarus by using Prisma's effect to send um, I could, by, to send Bestiari to the graveyard. And guess what? Tag out, blow two cards up. Very easy. Or call the Haunted. Tag out, blow two cards up. So, it's really about Testing out your options, even if the card might be bad, test it out. Or 
even in one format, this build was good. Next format, it's not. Next format, you might have to go back to the old build. Um, I'm just saying, if a deck is living on the edge, if a deck that is, you want to play it, just keep playing it, keep testing it out. Try out cards you haven't even thought about. Hey, this card, I never saw this card before. Let me try this out. And maybe it's just the card you need. Maybe there's a card that used to be bad, but now it's good. Or maybe some exceeds have come out. And you can put those in your deck now, and guess what? You can compete more. Your deck is a little bit more competitive because of the, of the new cards. Try it out. So, thanks for watching. Your Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. And I end my turn. Go.